I'm Ruth. And I'm Brenton. Welcome to the weekend edition of Spectrum. It's yes. always a treat to be with you. We are going to highlight a couple of interviews today that I think are going to be a blessing to you. So you want to stay with us. Mm -hmm. It's been a nice week. Have you felt the chill in the air? Love the chill in the air. I came out yesterday and I was like, oh, my favorite time of year. It really is. I, I believe I finally found my... I have decided what's my favorite. I think Ruth is a, a when winter comes, that'll probably be my favorite. Fall. <laughs> yes. Well, we're gonna have a great time together with you today. Stay with us. have a great privilege for you today. We have Jim Sheldon, who is the positive cowboy, but you may know him better right here on the Alpha Omega Broadcasting Network as the host of the Music City Show. And we're so glad that you're with us today, Jim. Well, it's amazing. I said, I, I'm old school. And I'm still fascinated by all the technology <laughs> part that I just set out like I had to go sing gospel music. And now I'm of a show that's just aired everywhere, kind of neat, and be able to come and, and, and to meet folks who are doing it, you know. I'm, I was one of the people that, for a while, didn't th think those Facebook friends were real until I started meeting some of them. That can't be, that can't be, yeah. you know, same thing here. But I mean, I, I, and especially when I got to see your website and your covers, I mean, my wife uh, uh, spent a lot of time in Socorro. Her grandparents okay. ran the fairgrounds there. Oh, wow. And so I saw luck like you you pretty much can reach a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, so. Socorro. Yes. And so let their family now down there. Okay. So it's, it's a fascinating. And then, uh, we're on tour, and I, I've always liked to get to know the people who mm -hmm. we're partnering with, you Absolutely. know. And it uh, makes it easier for you to know us. And yes. That's and anytime I come through, hopefully we can do this again. Well, to help, to help get, get people my people who know me, the better know you guys and vice versa. So well, it is an honor to have you today. And reach them with the gospel. That's right. Well, tell us about your TV show. Tell us about the Music City show. How did you get going with, with uh, having a television program? Well, my pr producer, Scott Gotzi and uh, Bev McCann, I hooked up with them when they were at Homeland Records in Galveston, Tennessee. And uh, they were one to kind of push me out a little further, get me out there. and. I, we just noticed that gospel music, with all the media opportunities, just was, wasn't really getting, I think, what God's music deserves. It's a real platform so people can perform and sing and share. Mm -hmm. You know, t cost, cost is always a factor, I know, but uh, God has provided that we were able to uh, produce the show. We started out the first season, we kind of tested out several different hosts. Tim Lovelace just went to it like a duck and water, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's kind of like he's kind of like a Johnny Carson. You know, Johnny Carson didn't try to be funny. He just knew how to be funny, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. Huh? And and he, he bringing different artists that help get them into people's eyes that you might hear that name, that mm -hmm. song, but never see them right. uh, locally, yes. maybe. And so. Uh, we came up to the concert, kind of a Johnny Carson thing. I grew up watching him all the time. The live music, right. the audience, mm -hmm. the guests. Some probably your first time you hear this comedian. Wow, he's funny. Mm -hmm. Next time he comes to your town, you know, I'm going to go see him. Right. Kind of thing. And so uh, that's what our, our purpose was. And never dreamed that we'd be having uh, seven seasons we've done. Uh, we, at one point, we had a Nielsen raise of 400,000 watching every week. Now we're Which actually more funny. homes mm -hmm. than we've ever been in, wow. and it's it's just amazing. And it's really put me out there. I just yeah. again, I just want to sing gospel music. And now Amen. God has created a platform. Open all these doors. And here uh, I'm. Uh, I've never been. In, I've been through New Mexico a few times with my wife and all, and so it's nice to be here. Yes, absolutely. And to promote this. And so, yeah, we um, we have a live audience band. The uh, we have 26 crew on our production when we get it done. In fact, we just moved into new facilities that hope we expand to have our own mm -hmm. uh, TV studio to work in. We rented before and it got sold out for us, so we had no place to go. So we had to 
figure what to do next, and God has go. opened a new door. And so it's just about putting God's music That's right. where everybody can see it. Amen. You know, in this new media, like I say, even though know, you can't get it on TV, you can at least get it through Freeman, uh, right. YouTube, all those things that I'm still trying to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're currently on tour, Western tour. Yes, I am. Tell yes, us how am. that's going. Well, the uh, last four years, because of the show, uh, Bev, call, Bev McCann has become my manager, Bev McCann of Friends. Uh, Scott Gossie's now vice president of Daywind, so he's a little busier. So yes. I need to get out and say that's my main thing is want to get out and share through my songs and my ministry. And it's just open doors. I, we've been coming out here five years now, and it used to be we travel all the way out to California before we get those first dates. But now uh, we're we've sung just about. Uh, from Wednesday all the way through Sunday night on nonstop. Wow. We did two lead leg fair Friday and Saturday night and we don't they want us to back next year and there's some dates. People who could we couldn't include this trip. We're having to do another one in spring to to be able to get to, to those accomplish places. it all. You yes. have I understand you also bought a recording studio lately. Yes, uh Bev McCann, her husband and then Scott Gosley, our producer we bought uh, all the Vern Trips place there in Gallatin. We have the house and then the back of the studio, which we, we can do full, complete audio. Uh, wow. We do video, we can do EPKs. We have a talker. We can do everything from fine songs, public songs, record them wow. to a full package like you see here. In fact, it occurs to me to, that God can do anything through us. Yes, but I can. established a, my own country label called Positive Country Records. Wow. So I can not to be independent, I can go out and mm -hmm. be established and I can help other artists come through me to get good quality gospel music out. And you have a new project called The Positive Cowboy. That's correct. <laughs> uh, the name was just a name for a bit and then it's amazing how God has grown quite a, a platform to share the gospel, my story of where I've come from to where I am. Singing country music just to survive. Now I'm using the country style of music to sing his message, mm -hmm. a restoration, which is really what I've lived. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I wanted to give people some meat. So I have the, uh, this whole album is really kind of a musical story of how I've come from where I was to now. Mm -hmm. In fact, the, on this there, there's two songs, Chuck Day who wrote Midnight Cry, Wrote when I, mm -hmm. he produced this for me. Uh, the Paws of Cowboy, my own kind of theme song. Mm -hmm. And then the family dealing with some struggles I've had. So it's giving me a chance to kind of get to where I can share the gospel, share my life, uh, be personal with people, mm -hmm. you know, and be more effective than I was even a staff person when I felt, felt like that was, I felt like I messed up, I couldn't right. do that. But God gave me a better Amen. way to go serve him. Amen. Kind of like he did Paul. That's isn't beautiful. That, isn't that amazing what God can do with our lives? I understand that you also support a kid's home. And that you do yes, my homecomings in Kentucky, there's a Sunrise Children's Services. Okay. Uh, they're a, a Baptist or but it's separate from the, the denomination. They uh, help extremely troubled kids, you know, drug addicts, uh, Pregnant yeah. girls, mm -hmm. everything. Sometimes the courts this is their last chance to kind of get their life where they go forever. Mm -hmm. And so they have several residents where they take the kids, they literally grow them up through the system till they hopefully get into the site and be a contributor. Mm -hmm. And many of them come back and help the others as well. And they have clinics mm -hmm. all over the state. And so my sister went through alcohol, finally got saved through AA meeting. And then I have my daughter who was sexually abused by her father. There was no help for her. So I'm trying to, you know, learn from that, really just mm -hmm. be mad, find a way to help other people through situations. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so I, I adopted that. And when I do my homecoming, I give uh, about 20% of where I get to it. Well, and we're looking to expand that in the area on a quarterly basis, maybe uh, coming year. That's excellent. Well, we understand that your quartet, the Music City Quartet, sang in Nashville. Yes, ma'am. The Grand Ole Opry stage. Season five, we established a quartet to give another added variety besides what I do. And uh, last two years, uh, Sunday Morning Country, which is produced by the Music City Christian Fellowship, is a fellowship of Nashville artists who just like to get the gospel out during the CMA <laughs> week. And so uh, the last two years, we got to form Original Virus and then uh, Oak Ridge Song. Uh, every day we did last year. 
And it's just fun, fun, fun. Oh, yeah. You know, sure to go on the, the big stage. <laughs> Stand on that wooden circle oh, that yes. everybody just dreams of being. Oh, yes. <laughs> but do it for God's will. Amen. You know? That's awesome. And see all these artists I've grown up knowing yes. side by side singing and their hearts for Jesus. For it just yes. gives you a good feeling for yes, our, our world and an opportunity to share the gospel. Now, wonderful? I understand that you have an opportunity to go to Dollywood here. Is that right? Yes. Uh, Tell us yes. a little bit about that. Uh, Singing News has opened up an opportunity in Dollywood from end of September all the way through November. They call the Harvest Fest, and they'll place gospel groups all over the park every week, every every day. And you go in, you do three shows uh, on set on one day, and the next day back to back. Mm -hmm. And so that we did it last year. Uh, Bev McCann, myself, Rachel, and the two other artists she works with will perform on the 29th and 30th there. And then my quartet will do the same thing on the third and fourth. Okay. And it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, at Dollywood, who doesn't like Dollywood? Right. Be able to open up and share gospel and the real audiences. And it's amazing how it opens some doors for us. Amen. So it's just God's blessing. You know, when yes. you put yourself out there, let God lead you. Yes. He, like I like to say, he, he will bless your efforts. Amen. That's right. Well, our guest today is Jim Sheldon, the Positive Cowboy, and I'd encourage you to watch his uh, program, The Music Sh City Show, every Friday night right here on KAZQ at 9.30 p.m. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks Jim. for having me, sir. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We certainly want to just say a big, big thank you to every person who is involved in supporting Alpha Omega Broadcasting. You are making a difference. And if you're not getting our uh, monthly newsletter, you need to get on the mailing list. Give us a call, 505-884-8355. Dial extension 101. Someone in the office will connect you to getting onto the mailing list. That'd be a real blessing. And, mm -hmm. and you'll you get a lot of inside information of the things that we're working on here at KZQ and KTBS. God is good, and we are grateful for you. We are grateful for your support, your encouragement. We are thankful to be celebrating 32 years of broadcasting. And just look at what the Lord has done. We've talked about that earlier in the week, and we just continue to rejoice in what He's done. There are different ways you can find out all about who we are. You can look at us online at kazq32.org. You can also support us there, set up a date, a month, a certain day of the month, and have that um, come out, and we will receive that. You can customize it however you'd like it, do that online. You can mail in your check donation to 4501 Montgomery Boulevard, Northeast Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87109. If you'd like to pay by phone, you can do that by calling 505-884-8355, extension 101. There are different levels of involvement. We have our foundation team member, which is with your gift of $32, which goes towards family safe programming, which is so very important. And also our president partner levels, which is with your gift of 50, 75, and $100. Be prayerful and then obedient as to what the Lord would have. You do. If you have not rescanned your television recently and you pick up your TV over the air, I would invite you to do that because uh, it, we have just recently gone through the repack channel changes with some of the stations here in Albuquerque. And uh, if you're not gleaning all of the great programming that we have on KZQ, you need to. Channel mm -hmm. 32.1 is mm -hmm. the programming that we provide locally. 30 32.2 is the folks from Believer's Voice of Victory Network, mm -hmm. 32.3, Sun Life Broadcasting, folks with Jimmy Swaggart's group out of Baton Rouge, and 32.5 with Daystar Television. Also some great programming on uh, our other station here mm -hmm. that we have at Alpha Omega Broadcasting, and a lot of free over-the-air channels. I think it's over 50 channels that you can get for Amazing. free. Mm -hmm. So remember to rescan. Funding for today's programming has been brought to you in part by Ed and Karen McNabb. Proud supporters of KAZQ and Eagle Athletics. Thank you for supporting family programming. 
We are privileged to have with us today Pastor Brian Allered. And Pastor Brian is not only the founding pastor of Passion Church right here in Albuquerque, but is also the president of America Praise. And today, on top of that, we're going to talk about a wonderful event coming to the city of Albuquerque in just a few days, which is connected with the Convoy of Hope folks. Thanks for being yeah, with us, Pastor. Yeah, Pastor Brent, honored to be here. Thank you for all that you guys do for the community. Well, we're privileged to be able to, to share today and get folks some information yeah. on this coming event with Convoy of Hope. I know some folks may say that sounds familiar because Convoy of That's Hope true. is pretty well known across the country in terms of helping out in emergency circumstances. Yeah. But this is a different thing. So tell us a little bit about what's happening connected yeah. with that. You know, one of the things that Convoy of Hope does here in America is they do community outreaches. So okay. they'll come to a city, a community, and uh, it's about a million dollar event impact on a city the size of Albuquerque. So uh, so we did it last year, June 23rd. We did our first year and this, this year, it'll be November 2nd, it'll be our second second annual Convoy Hope Community Outreach. So the amazing thing is we have to raise about 150000 on the local level in kind donations and, and cash donations, but it turns into a million dollar impact for the city. So if you went to Bank of America or any of the bank and said, hey, I'll give you 150000 when you turn around and give me a million, no, you'd take those odds every day, right? So, sure. So it's an amazing thing. So we're going to be at the convention center 9 a.m. on Saturday, November 2nd. They'll come in, and there's National Breast Cancer Foundation there Excellent. to be with women. And then there's Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A donated 8,800 full Chick-fil-A sandwich meals. So they'll go, go get their lunch. There's the kids' zone, so kids can go play and bounce. And then Presbyterian Healthcare is there with the full medical clinic. This year, we've added dental. Right. Two dental offices in town said so we want to come in and do free dental exams. So, right. so you can go get your, the kids are playing, you're going to get your medical exam. You've eaten lunch together as a family. Now you're getting your dental. And then there's haircuts. So everybody can get the free haircut. Then every child ages two to 18 will get a free pair of shoes. And then you go get your family portrait. And then Workforce Solutions is doing our job fair, just trying to reach out to people, help bring employers, help people find jobs, do those kind of things. And there's a lot of jobs available, aren't there? I mean, you really know, th are. this is a connecting point that maybe sometimes we're missing out, but you're seeing a lot of people really wanting to hire. So that's a great yeah, thing, especially it's a great before thing. the holidays. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so you think of a family, a single mom with three kids or a two-parent family come in with three, four kids. They all get a free pair of shoes, a new haircut. You get your family photo. You had lunch together. They played. You got your checkups and uh, so it's an amazing impact uh, for the city so we're really grateful that is that's great tell us about some of the sponsors I know you already hit on yeah. a few of them of course, yeah. Presbyterian Hospital Chick-fil-a yeah. other yeah. folks that you already mentioned are there other folks in the community corporate-wise that are coming behind this? Yeah, event? yeah, yeah. So our number one donor and sponsor is the city of Albuquerque. Isn't that great? So it's been an amazing to see the city get behind this. And uh, so they actually donated four of their billboard spaces uh, here in the city to Convoy Hope. <laughs> the digital, they, they rent, they lease four billboards digital, and they said, we'll give those to you for the month of October. And uh, they, they sponsored the convention center, and then top of that gave 30000 cash. And uh, so it's been amazing to see the city, and they said, we would really like to use Convoy Hope to help, you know, relaunch our volunteer program. So we're going to send volunteers as well. So, um, you know, Peter Drucker, Rick Warren used to teach this thing, that the only way to transform a community in a sustained effort is you have to have the business community, the government and the faith community come together. And if you have two of those three, you're on a two-legged stool and it's going to fall. But if you have the business community providing resources, the government providing access and permission, because they can, they can block it or they can yeah. open the door for it to flow. And then you have the faith community bringing the, the services and the faith and the transformation. That's how you sustain a community. And so we have the city, we have Presbyterian, Chick-fil-A, Comcast, Xfinity came on board as one of our title sponsors uh, to be involved in this. Document Solutions is doing printing all the family portraits. That's about a $12,000 gift. And so, and then we have businesses that have said we can do 500. So it's not just the big, you know, billion dollar corporations. We have local men and women uh, from many different churches and backgrounds that are saying, hey, we want to be part of Convoy Hope 500, 5,000, 10,000, whatever that level is. And, uh, and then to see the volunteerism, to see people say, hey, we want to go. We're going to bring our small group. We want to bring our family. So age, kids ages 10 and older can serve with a, with a parent or a grandparent or a guardian. So, you know, we're taking our kids. All three of our kids are serving. So it's great that you can go as a whole family and fi figure out where do we want to serve. You can take your small group. You can bring your church. We have businesses that are bringing their employees. All right, we're going to close down shop on, on that Saturday. We're going to take, you know, 10 staff or 20 staff or so. It's amazing to see. So people can go to Convoy dot org for slash albuquerque click on sign up mm -hmm. and become a volunteer so. okay so when you say they volunteer yeah. what does that mean i yep. mean yeah hey i'm gonna volunteer well 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. what are you gonna do? Yeah, exactly. So last year we had about 1,500 volunteers. This year we're looking for about 1,800. Okay. And so, uh, so we'll have about three, 400 people in the groceries area. So the, the greatest thing well, about this is- hadn't mentioned that yet. Hadn't mentioned that yet. So the very last thing is that everybody gets, every adult gets two bags of groceries. So in all, it's about 70, 80,000 pounds of groceries which is a lot. <laughs> when a you lot see of, it, that's a lot when of, you see these two mountains of groceries, it's just unbelievable. What so, kind of things are included? Are they non-perishables um, mostly? All, mostly non-perishables, yeah. And uh, so we have about 300 for people packing them and handing them. And so if we see a single mom or an elderly individual, we'll actually walk them out to the bus or the parking garage and, and help them uh, take their groceries to the car and everything else that they got, the services they got. So that's good. we need about... 400 people in the kids' shoes areas, people helping kids get new pair of shoes. And, and uh, we're still looking for hairstylists, so we're doing free haircuts. So if there's a hairstylist out there, you can sign on in, in the comments, say, I'm a hairstylist, I want to be part of this. Um, the kids' zone, people who say, you know, I'm a, I'm a volunteer at my kids' church and have my background check, and I, I just love kids. I want to be there at the kids' zone and the balance house is loving on kids. So, so yeah, it's just, and then the food area, <laughs> we're, we're feeding about 10,000 meals. So Chick-fil-A donated 8,800 meals. Uh, the city of Albuquerque Public Schools donated 3,500 meals. So we have food for 12,000 people to come get a warm lunch. So as people arrive, well, when do they arrive? And yeah. where do they come? Where, yeah. Give us some, uh, give us so, some logistics. Yeah. So, so yeah, so it's the convention center on, on 2nd Street. So they can park underground Civic Plaza or okay. convention center parking garage okay. or on the street. Is that, and, you have to pay for that? Huh? You have to pay for the yeah. parking? Yeah. Okay. And then, so um, you need to be aware of that, be prepared to pay for parking. Yeah, and then um, it you know it starts at 10 a.m. Because it's a little chilly out, we might open the doors earlier, maybe 9.15 or so, but the event publicly starts at 10 a.m. and goes to about three o'clock. So about a five hour, five, six hour window for people to come in and get all these amazing services and resources. So. Well, let's talk about volunteerism just a little bit more. Yeah. Do you have anything special that gets the, the volunteers prepared? Because I've seen, you know, over the last year, different people wearing shirts yeah, <laughs> I think we're connected to the yeah. Convoy of Hope event last year. Yeah, and I'm sure that you know they just didn't you know make them all themselves. So <laughs> right. how, did, how did all this work? Self -print. Yeah, so that's a, one of the I think one of the highlights of the Convoy Hope weekend is that Friday night, November first at, at Calvary Church with Skip Isaac at seven o'clock, we do a volunteer rally. Okay. So last year, so you can bring your family, even if your family's not volunteering, bring your family. So last year on that Friday night, we had 1,700 people from about. 80 different churches and backgrounds come together and worship the Lord. So we have a time of worship. Uh, we have a time of prayer, praying in small groups. We're praying for the city. We're praying for the, the volunteers. We're praying for the people that are going to come get the services. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just a handout. It's, it's a hand full of hope. We want to inspire people with hope, with the love of Jesus Christ. We want them to feel the love of God through the way that we serve them. And so we, we spend some time in small groups praying, and uh, then we give some videos, instructions, and then they get their T-shirt. So, okay. yeah, I mean, so a lot of people came just for the T-shirt. No, Did they? Kidding. Well, but, uh, no, you know. <laughs> I'm sure that, that wasn't But, true. yeah, so then they get their Convoy Hope T-shirts. We have kid sizes, adult sizes. They get there, they sign their waiver, and they get their T-shirt. So if somebody can't make it Friday night, November 1st, 7 o'clock at Calvary, they can come the morning of, I'd say, come early at 7 a.m. to sign your waiver and get your, your T-shirt. So... You know, when they um, when the, they get involved, they get their assignment then, or they get the morning of. The morning of, because we want to see how many volunteers do we have. Because there's certain areas, groceries, the lunch, the kids' shoes that require so many volunteers, a Period. hard number. Gotcha. That then we figure out we need those covered first, and then with what's left, how many want to do this? How many want to do kids zone? How many want to do haircuts? How many want to do you know, those kind of different things. So okay. the gladiators are coming. Um, Orbit from Isotopes is going to be there taking pictures of people. I mean, it's going to be yeah. a lot of fun. And it will be an inside event. Inside event. So uh, yeah. November, you know, I mean, typically it's usually still pretty nice as we get to early November, but you know, there you never yeah, know. No, that's I mean, right. it could be a windy day or a rainy day and it's always yeah. nice to be inside. So as people, uh, you have a target. How many people are you hoping to have volunteer this year? Did you say? Yeah, yeah we're hoping for 1,800 volunteers. Last year we had just over 1,500. So How do we're people hoping... do that now? Can they get involved now? Can they go online? Yeah, so go to convoy.org forward slash Albuquerque. Convoy.org forward slash Albuquerque. Click volunteer. There's a volunteer button right there. And they can sign up. And uh, Can you sign come. up the whole family or is it a limit of one person time? You, you have to access. do. You have to click it each time, so you can go in and sign your name, sign your spouse, sign your kid in. But yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'd love for people to, to come and serve, and I know the city of Albuquerque. One Albuquerque volunteers are going to partner as well, and so. 
really excited. Well, to this, this special event coming back to Albuquerque will be on Saturday, November the 1st. And so we encourage you to be down at the convention center. And of course, if you can volunteer, uh, go to the website and sign up. Thanks for being with us, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor Brennan. As we're getting close to the weekend, we always love to invite you to join us on the weekend yes. where Ruth and I are the lead pastors at Evangel Christian Center. Mm -hmm. This Friday night is special because after the service, everybody who's in attendance at service is invited to join with us for free pizza mm -hmm. at one of the lo local pizza locations, which mm -hmm. we will reveal at the service. <laughs> yes, you must be in attendance to participate, attendance <laughs> in the service, to participate for the pizza. Free pizza. Yeah, everyone loves that, pizza and drinks. Yep. And so that service begins at six o'clock, yes. it's on Friday night. Um, we also had mi mi we also have midweek services on Wednesday night. Yes, ma'am. We have Bible studies prior to that. I know the men are gathering, I believe at theirs six. is at six. The ladies join a little earlier than that. We're about 5.15, 5.20. And we have our Bible study prior to Wednesday night life, prior, prior to Wednesday service. Man, I'm tongue tied today. And then we have our services on Sunday, one at nine and one at 1045. It's gonna be a great weekend. I sure hope that you'll be able to join with us. Now, two Friday yes. nights away, which is the 25th of October, Hard mm -hmm. to believe that we're coming toward the end is our annual Trunk or Treat event. If you've never been to Trunk or Treat, we would invite you to come. It is a free event. We're supposed to have the city's rock climbing wall there, mm -hmm. some bounce houses and different things. We'll have I don't food. Know, I'm yes. not sure. Food. And uh, all the trunks decorated so much fun. Plus, mm -hmm. Uh, live events for the kids to participate in with our children's ministries department. I think they've got bicycles, yeah, we have four bicycles right? that they're giving away this mm -hmm. year, and lots of candy. So it's that, a ton of fun. It is a ton. And uh -huh. uh, it's family safe. Starts at six. Yeah, right. Ends it's at eight. Okay, six to eight. So bring your family, and it's a great time to try your costume pre previous to the day we usually have it. So, what's your favorite memory of? Harvest Fest or Trunk or Treat? Oh, well, well, I've always loved, always loved it when the kids were little because I would make their costumes. Yes. Never wanted to go out and buy it. So I have a ton of, co not a ton, but I do have Several. some mm, that I have made at home, different themes for the children. Little Red Riding Hood comes to mind. Did that. I did Star Wars you theme did. one year with Princess Leia. And, and Ruth oops. and I did uh, something recently with some of the Toy Story characters. <laughs> yeah, that we may be a repeat those, this year. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Great to see you. I hope that you'll be with us in services this weekend. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you next time on Spectrum.